What's going on, guys? Tony here hanging out with you today. Um, please give me some feedback. Let me know if you guys can hear and see me. Uh, and if you are a VIP member, type in the chat if you are a VIP member and where you're tuning in from. What state, what country, what planet, what solar system, what galaxy. Uh, all right, let me know. And then give me some feedback if the audio and video is clear. Hopefully it's clear because I have a video uploading right now on my other uh on my desktop so frank says sounds great thank you frank we got we got harold schwinn kansas lifetime vip and i drove through kansas twice ho loady loady vip delaware florida vip bill taylor vip from detroit VIP North Carolina, Ricky Lowe, Ellen Hatcher, VIP Maryland. Hello, everyone. What's up, Ellen? What's up, my peoples? Lifetime VIP from North Carolina in the house. Arnold, I got your picture of your car. Uh, and I was playing around, guys, with the streaming software today for about an hour, hour and a half or so. I got it set up on my desktop. But um, in order for me to stream with that, this stream would have had to have been canceled and I didn't want to cancel this one today. Um, different software. So let's try Thursday. Hopefully I can get it set up. Um, I was able to set up um, share screen feature, um, my webcam feature and all that. And I wanted to actually do Arnold's picture today, but I just didn't get that far. Like I'm, I'm in between putting some time in that, you know, doing the live show here uh, I'm doing some blackout tint right now on a on another project we got going on, and it's just kind of a little uh, little crazy right now. VIP Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, Jack Callis, Lewis Rays, what's up, Tony? VIP Rochester, New York, Sam M Mino, VIP for life, all the way from South Africa. What's up, Gavin? VIP North Carolina, Harold Schwinn. Did you fall asleep driving through Kansas? Almost, almost. It was pretty bad. Lewis said, I just sent you pictures of a, of a 2014 Jeep I sprayed a few days ago. Sprayed it with the Atom X 27. Tell me what you think. VIP Hawaii. What's up? What's up? Long time no see. Love the chain. Oh, thank you. I've had this for many years. Awesome, Ricky Lowe. You're close to me. Let's see if I can find that image. Lewis Ray's first time spraying. Adam X27. Thanks for the motivation, Tony. Made some mistakes that I definitely learned from. Sprayed the hood, front fenders, front bumper, wet sanded the rest of the car, then hit it with wool, cutting compound, then with black foam pad polish. What do you think? Okay, so I see the base coat on. I see the primer, and then I see... Wow. Did you paint the whole car or just the front? Just the front. I don't see... Uh, I you must have been going for a flat, flat look, right? I think it looks pretty cool if you are going with the flat look. Let me know. Oh, just got my X eighty eight. What do you think? That gun is killer, man. That gun is killer. Just the front. Lewis, were you going for a flat, flat black look? Because it doesn't look like you got clear on it. Doesn't look like you got clear on it. You must have. Well, J.R. Dini, what was your first name again, man? I forgot. It's been so long. What was your name again? I'll remember we met at the Manapua shop. Way back when, how many years ago was that? 
Van. That's right, brother Van. <laughs> yeah, that was like, what, 2011? We met up. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Nine years ago. Shot two layers of clear. Check the last video. I didn't see the video, Lewis. Video did not load. All I got are one, two, three, four, five, six images. I did not get any video or any clear coat shots. Just kind of like um, in the booth. Well, in the garage with like painted black base coat. I didn't get, I didn't get, I don't see any finished products of it, finished pictures of it. Just letting you know, maybe you could resend them. I got a car with lacquer finish that has surface rust. If I want to start doing body work, would I have to sand down to bare metal? Uh, you don't have to sand down to bare metal. If it's an old lacquer finish, it could be a single stage enamel and not lacquer, but what you could do is just sand it down, get it down with like a 150 grit, you know, feather it out, you know, take out all the the fading or whatever, just get it all smooth. And then I would put two heavy coats of 2K filler primer on it just to cover the whole thing. And then I would block sand that. And then you could put a sealer on top of it and shoot it or you could shoot right over it. It all depends. Libby's is gone now. I know. Like, where do you where do you go to get good Manapuas now? I know, I know Libby's is gone. I wonder if the one in Manoa Marketplace is still open. I used to go to one in Manoa, the Chinese place. They're probably gone, man. Because the last time I was there, I was speaking to the owner. She's like, she's like, the rents keep going up and up and up. And it seemed like they were struggling over there. Do you know the name of that place? The Chinese. I a Manapua. I got to I got to check out I a Manapua. Never went there. But I used to go to the one at uh uh in Manoa Manoa Marketplace over there, Manoa Valley. Um they had the baked baked Manapua and then the steamed. Any of you guys know what Manapua is on here? <laughs> it's kind of like a Hawaii thing, Chinese. It's like a little like it's the, it's the steam bun from Ch from China, you know, the Chinese with with like um, like the red meat in it. Sometimes it's like regular meat, not dyed. Jack says, I would love an X88, but can't afford it. Happy so far with my X20 and 16. Everything I need to do. I have so far good results. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. So any brand new VIP members in, any new new VIPs here who've never been on before, give me some feedback. Let me know. Um, let's just start something really cool right now. We don't have a ton of people on. I wish we had more like 50 people on. I think if we wait a little longer, it could pop up. But I definitely know once we start doing live auto body, we're going to get a lot more people on. Um, so I can't wait for that. Uh, would look better sand and buffed Arnold. So back to your Arnold, what I'm thinking of doing is making like a, a video reply to your, your images. So Arnold, it looks like it to me, it looks like, and I don't know, you could confirm with me really quickly. It looks like you had some air bubbles in your clear coat or that area was laid on dry, okay? It laid on dry and you basically wet sanded it and buffed it and the compound is stuck in the little pores of where it was dried, the craters, and it's giving you that look from the compound. It could be that, or it could be air bubbles in your clear coat. How do you get air bubbles in your clear coat? Um, two ways. Mostly, mostly by having your clear coat, having your clear coat too thinned out. So like if you mix your clear coat improperly and it's too thin, while it's atomizing, you can trap air bubbles in there and you'll have like air, air bubbles, like bubbles in your clear coat. If your clear coat is too thin, that's what it kind of looked like to me initially. Um, the other, the other one, isn't it smooth to the touch because you buffed it? 
I mean, you're showing me a picture after buffed, right? Or is that before you buffed it? It looks like air bubbles or maybe, I don't think, it doesn't look like solvent pop to me. Solvent pop would be more like in your base coat. Um, so maybe you could send me a little video, Arnold, like kind of like what you did. Yes, after buff, but it was smooth before also just a little orange peel. That's very odd. Did you see it there before you buffed? Before you did anything. Before you did anything. Did you see that whiteness in the clear coat? Yeah, you can get solvent pop with clear, but it's really more, I would say more in the base coat. Like if you don't wait to put your clear on, some people, they rush it. Then you get solvent pop between the base and clear. It wasn't there until I buffed it. That's very odd, man. That's very weird. It doesn't make sense. It looks like little craters. Is it little craters that filled up with compound? Like, is that what it is? Like, I don't know, man. It's very, it's a weird. Okay, Lewis sent me his images again. Oh, this one has no content. Here you sent me, wow. Wow. Here you sent me an image. Lewis, Rays, I got an image here of the Jeep, and it looks very nice. Looks glossy. Looks pretty damn good. The hood looks like the hood has a little texture to it. I think if you if you spent a little bit more time um, sanding and buffing, you can get it out, but I think it looks good, man. That's very close to factory. Job well done, man. Looks great. If you don't mind, you want to send in a little testimonial. I, I would love to put this on the uh, the website featuring your product, featuring your before and after. <clears throat> um, let's get back to Arnold here. It's weird, like white snow dust or something. Yeah, that's very odd. Thank you, uh, Van, for telling me Island Manapua is still there in Manoa Marketplace. I got to pay those guys a visit. Maybe even um, IAA Manapua, you said. Yeah, maybe just scuff it and reshoot it, Arnold. It's very weird. I don't know how. I mean, to me, like I said, it looks like air bubbles in the clear coat, like fine air bubbles. Um, it's weird how it popped up after buffing because if, if you were just sanding clear coat and just buffed it that shouldn't just appear it had to have been in your clear coat you know for it to show up like that very weird very weird keep me posted though let me know what you do arnold only section of the passenger door and the front bumper hmm okay well anyway let's move on and let's uh let's let's see if we're missing some questions here. Charlie says, how many primer coats do you need when painting? I would say a good two to three, two to three coats or enough to where it's covered, you know, enough to where it's covered. And especially if you're going over sand scratches, you want to make sure you have enough on there before you cut it flat. Right? So it's, it's really how many coats until it's covered. That's the correct answer. But if you're looking for a number, two to three, medium heavy coats <clears throat> ellen hatcher let's get to your question can i sand single stage 1200 2000 and put another coat on to cure orange peel and dry spots absolutely you can but i would sand with 800 grit Okay, I wouldn't go as fine as uh, that 12 to 2,000. Just cut it down. If you're going to repaint the whole panel, just get it down with 800, okay? Then put two more heavy coats of single stage, okay? If you were looking to buff that, then yes, I would start cutting it down 
with 1,200, anywhere from 1,000, 1,200, 15, 2,000. You could go up to 2,500 if it's a light color, you know, or you go up to 25 to 3,000 if it's a darker color and then buff it out. That's if you're buffing. Uh, Mayan34956, I'm painting my 2000 Eclipse. GT soon, the hood, the hood, the paint peel off and some rust. Do I have to cure the rust or can I just spray epoxy primer on it? The whole car clear coat is peeling. So Mayan, you're going to have to basically feather all the peeling off with about 150 grit, get it down. Uh, sand all the paint, get everything down with 150 grit, I would say, 150, 180 in that area. Um, your rust areas, if it's a big rust spot, I would grind it down. You could use a vinegar water mixture of 50-50, dab it on a rag, put it on your, your area, and then scuff it with like 80 and then fill it with uh, like a fiberglass filler. And I use the U-Paul Fiberlite on the CRV project good product. Um, and I think it's a great product to fill up rust holes. Okay. So if you're looking for a rust hole filler, don't go with regular body filler. Always use like a kitty hair. Um, and you Paul has something called fiber light, which I like. It mixes up. It's creamy. It'll spread on easily. And then you could just sand it and you could shape it. And then if you need a little bit more extra, that's when you would put body filler on top of that. Uh, and then finish it off. Okay, guys. Oh, the VIP series for the CRV project series is finished as of today. It's uploading to the members area right now. Uh, it's a four video series, about two hours of content, give or take. Um, and we went all the way from, you know, sanding down the piece of crap from faded paint, ugly looking, you know, primering, 2K filler primering where we had to you know, filling up a rust spot with that fiber light we were just talking about, uh, prepping it, putting a beautiful single stage paint job on it, um, buffing it out, putting decals on it, and everything from A to Z. So if you guys, any VIPs in here, check that project out. It's a four-part video series. Give or take four hours, not four hours, four, uh, four part video series around, I would say 90 minutes to two hours of runtime. I didn't add it up yet, but it's somewhere around there. The last video was 27 minutes. Um, and that was going through everything. Yeah. So that is in VIP right now. So for you non VIP guys, if you guys are non VIPs, you definitely want to check out VIP. How many newbies on right now who never downloaded the free 85 page guide and trainings? If you want, check that link out. You can get in, um, get access to some free trainings, a free guide and so much more. I just recently painted my E36 BMW using VIP came out great. Thanks, Tony. That's awesome. Why don't you send in some before and after pictures, man, so I can feature you on our website, man, for the world to see. We get over 30,000 visitors a month to the website, over 30,000 uniques. That's a lot of people, guys. So definitely any of you VIPs in here doing before and after from our trainings, I definitely always want to feature and promote you guys and share your story and your pictures to the world. Um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, speaking of that, how many new VIPs on here who've never sent in a testimonial? So we're going to be doing a testimonial contest, and I'm going to let you guys know right now. This is for you VIPs who've never won a T-shirt before. So we're going to send uh, a little – I'm going to send you guys a link very soon, okay? So check your email. Check your email. Um, we're going to pick three VIP winners and we're going to send you the brand new Paradise Garage t-shirts for a video testimonial. Video testimonial. So, haven't done enough to show yet. No problem, Frank. Soon you will. Um, so, keep an eye open for the Learn Auto Body and Paint VIP testimonial contest. Um 
about to paint my dad's swapped 71 C10 next. That's awesome. So document your before and afters, guys. Get ready. We're going to give away some free T-shirts to VIPs only very, very soon. So check your emails for the contest and rules. And yeah, I think it was your gun, but also your mixture. Because like I said, even if you have a good gun or a cheap gun, okay, if your mixture of your clear coat is too thin, okay, you're going to get like, uh, it's going to be too thin. You're gonna, It's going to mix bu air pocket bubbles in while it's atomizing, okay? Very, very important. Your, your clear coat can't be too thin. It has to be the correct mixture. So keep, you know, keep that in mind. And also, you know, Try to stay away from cheap, cheapo guns. Get a good medium grade or a high end SADA if you want to spend a thousand bucks, then do that. Okay. Uh, for me, I like Adam, Adam spray guns. They spray fantastic. Okay. You get a lot of bang for your buck. Plus, you get the Gunbud Ultra Lighting System, which is a very cool product. Hi, Tony. Do you think there will be a Cyber Monday deal on Zula spray guns? Most likely, yes. I'm going to buy myself an Atom X27. I think you'll love it. Uh, Robert Santos, what spray gun would you recommend for a 30-gallon air compressor? The low-volume, low-pressure X27 or 20. Also, what do you use now that is similar to DynaWeld for bumpers since DynaWeld is no longer available? Robert, I'm thinking you're a VIP. So number one, get the X27 low volume, low pressure for that smaller air compressor. That's a fantastic gun. You're going to love it. And it also comes with the gun bud. Um, if you want to go high end and splurge, you can get the X88, which I use multiple times. It'll come with the 1.3 and 1.4 tip size. Okay. Uh, the X20 is a good starter gun. Um, and it's good for primer and also base coat clear coat. Okay, so if you want to go a little cheaper, you can get the X20. It's all up to you. It's also a very good spraying gun. Um, what you want to get is the 3M. And if you look, I'm pretty sure you are a VIP, Santos. Look at the Mazda Miata VIP project. Okay, I use something called, hold on. I forgot the number of the product, 3M body panel adhesive it's it's 08115 3m's body panel body panel bonding adhesive okay that's the product we used we use it multiple times in in vip um the only problem is you're going to need to buy a gun but you can get the whole set on eBay, maybe even on Amazon for like 120 bucks to give you a cartridge with the gun. I personally, I think it's, it's always worth, worth it to have, you know, the guns for the products. Okay. Um, again, the number is, it's called the panel bonding adhesive 08115. Okay. 08115. And, um, it's a good product. Hey, Tony, what is the best low volume, low pressure gun for shooting primer from the X series guns? Just got my X88. RK, I would go with the X20 low volume, low pressure, uh, but make sure you pick up the 1.8 or 2.0 tip kit. It's a killer primer gun and it sprays out very, very nice primer coats, um, especially with the 1.8 or 1.2 tip size. Okay. Very, very good gun. I use my X20s for primers, okay? I use my X27s uh, for base coat, clear coat, and the X88 also for base coat, clear coat, okay? Uh, Tony, do you need my before and after pictures on Harley? Yes, absolutely, why not? Please send it. I got the after pictures, if you could send the before, and then when you're completely done with it, like all put together, why don't you like send the picture of you on the bike, man. So like, dude, guys, I want to feature you. If you don't mind, if you, if you don't mind, I would like to put your picture of you on our website with your completed project. Like that's the ultimate, 
you know, we have tons of VIPs like that right now, but I'm, I'm just saying for new people coming on right now, definitely. I sprayed my model a with the single stage X 21.4 Asked Tony if it came out. Okay. I think it came out fantastic, Jack. I mean, for a first timer, excellent, excellent job, man. And I just got my gun, bud awesome product. It is an awesome product. I love it. Uh, is the X88 going to make a 2.0 tip kit? I believe they are. They're in the talks because uh, people are requesting it. So they are in the talks of coming out with, <coughs> with a 2.0. God, my throat is dry. Yeah, um, I've been using my voice a lot today. Like I've been doing voiceovers, making the trainings, and like been doing a lot of talking. I was on the phone earlier this morning. What's the VIP site? Haven't logged in in a while. All right, let's see. The members area is members.learnautobodyandpaint.com. Let me give you the link. Uh, the X88 comes with the 1.3 and 1.4 tip size at Zula.com. Let me, I have all these pages open. Let me actually send you the link here. It'd be easy for you to check it out. Okay. So here is the link to the, um, the X88. Melbourne, Australia. What's up guys? Hit the like button. If you haven't yet hit the like button, come on. Come on, guys. And again, keep your eyes open, VIP members only, for the testimonial contest. We're going to give away three VIP shirts. Well, it's the new Paradise Garage t-shirts. And then we have all of our sponsors in the back. Pretty cool. So, uh, so it's going to be cool. How do you do a matte paint job? So a matte paint job is... You basically put in, if you're going to be doing base coat, clear coat, you put a flattener in your clear coat to give it that matte look. The other way is to get a product uh, and a paint line called Hot Rod Flats. Okay. And they come in a single, you can get them in single stage where you just lay it on and it comes out matte already. Okay. Um, do we send project pictures to support? No, you send them to me and then my girls will intercept them and get them to me if I miss it. So it's just Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. Tony at learn auto body and paint.com. Okay. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So again, I tried doing the stream today, but I, I would have had to cancel this one. I didn't want to do that. So hopefully, um, Hopefully later this week or early next, we can have this streaming software set up. I just kind of, you know, I'm a newbie. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm not techie at all. I'm not a tech guy. That's the problem. <coughs> oh, there you go. So Summit Racing has the, the hot rod flat paint line. I saw a Jeep today with, with asphalt finish today. That's crazy. Hey, Tony, I just finished painting my car and waited 30 days and didn't buff or cut it yet, but wanted to put the turtle product finish. Does that sound good? You could do that. You mean wax, right? If you waited 30 days, you can wax it. Thank you, Arnold, for that. What primer kits do you have? Uh, I don't have any primer kits right now, but I what I use is the ShopLine 2K filler primer. Tony, Hot Rod Black is what I used to paint that motorcycle frame. Cool, 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 cool. That was a single stage, right, Arnold? I believe so. Guys, hit the like button. We got 69 people, 65 people on with 21 likes. Are you kidding me? Smash that like button. Come on. Anyway, I got to head out. I got a few things to do. Um, I got to head out. Uh, the shop line code, man, what was it? I have it on my desktop. I'm not good at remembering numbers, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, I have I have it in upstairs on my desktop. Yes, it is the 202. It's the 202.
When are you going to get in the garage with us again? As soon as I possibly can. As soon as I possibly can. Again, we are working on the Paradise Garage deal. Um, I'm going back to the property tomorrow, actually, um, to do uh, my final inspection. So things are moving along, guys. So just just kind of give me a, a, a prayer. Hey, Tony, hopefully your, your deal goes through. You know, we're, I'm anxious. I want to get over there. I want to start doing it, you know, and, and start, it's just going to be, it's going to be good guys, but there's going to be a couple months for transitioning time, you know, but Hey, it is what it is. We will do it. Thank you, Alberto for the can't wait. Lewis. All right. I'll take a look. Thank you, Ellen Hatcher. Thank you so much. All right, guys. So I'm going to head out. Um, I did get the van project guys. I got the van project. So last week we were talking about um, a Chevy Express that I was possibly going to get if I could work a deal. And I did work a deal and I did pick the van up. Um, so no videos on it yet, but this is what it looks like kind of quickly. It has, a, it has some cool rims on it. Okay, that's the Chevy Express project. It's sitting in my driveway now. Okay, super cool. Um, what I'm doing right now is <laughs> my dog pooped and I had to take a picture of that. <laughs> uh, what I'm doing right now is plastic dipping the inside of my windows so you can't see in. Because like it's a car, it's it's a it's a passenger van that was converted to a work van, so there's really no interior in it. It's gutted you know, in the, in the back anyway. So like, I really don't care. It's going to be more of a work van for me. We're going to make the outside look awesome, but the back is like, you know, it's a work truck. So what I'm doing, I wanted to make all the windows blacked out. So I'm just getting some plastic dip and we're just like doing the windows from inside. So you, so you can't see in, uh, just quick. Um, but the back windows, we're putting like a special film on where you could kind of see, you can see out, but you can't really see in. I ordered it on Amazon. I'll probably take a video of that. Wrap the line of the whole inside. That's ridiculous. You guys are nuts. Have you ever made your own paint job color? Absolutely. That's when you're talking about custom colors, man. When you do that, you basically, anytime you add pearl or flake to a paint job, you, you turn it into a custom color. I used that window film before. It's great. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, Bill. It's like it's like the it's like holes. It's like a black film with like little holes in it. Um, they say you it's not a hundred percent proof. Like you can see, you know, you know, you can, it's a one way. It said it's advertised as one way, but it's perforated. Yes. So I don't know. I'm, I plan to put that on the rear glass, but the sides I'm gonna black out, and then maybe I'll put that on the front glass. Yeah, that's cool. So who knows? You know, for now, I just want it blacked out because I'm, you know, I'm going to put some stuff in it. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right. So I'll see you guys Thursday night. Thank you for, for tuning in. Yeah, what's the name of that film? The other thing I could do is get that film and put it on the outside of the glass. You know, like uh, I, I've seen that. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's like a wrap. It's like a wrap perforated, you know, like. Anyway, it's, it's cool stuff. So. Uh, does VIP help with giving quotes? Yes, actually, Fabian. Um, what I would do if I were you is I actually I would. Go here and put your name, put your email in. And actually the thank you page is a new page where um, those are some VIP videos there. Um, the first, there's a video on the next page. Uh, that where we talk about how to make money with auto, estimating auto body jobs. It's a good video that I made. A lot of people loved it. So check that out. I know you're already VIP, but maybe you might want to unsubscribe after you subscribe so you don't get the promotional emails and all of that. All 
All right, I'm going to head out. Thanks, guys. I'll see you Thursday night. Smash that like button before you leave. Don't forget. Um, and also for you newbies, hit up learnautobodyandpaint.com to grab your free guide. Thank you, Arnold, for, for tuning in, stopping by again. And um, if you guys are looking for great spray guns, uh, use what I use. I use Atom X. I'll just drop the link uh, to Zula.com, the authorized dealer. And, uh, and that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys on Thursday night. Have a great day. I will be in touch. Talk to you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. And um, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.